All right, guys, welcome to today's lesson in statics. Today we're covering problem 10 from chapter 3. So problem 10 says, It is known that a force with a moment of 960 newton meters about point D is required to straighten the fence post CD. If D distance equals 2.8 meters, determine the tension that must be developed in the cable of winch pull or AB to create the required moment about point D. So first I'm going to start off by drawing my free bar diagram. We have point D at the bottom of the fence post, and then we have the horizontal distance going to point E at the tree stump. We know this distance, they tell us, from D to E is 2.80 meters. Now, we're told the moment is about point D is 960 newtons, so write that down. The scalar moment about point D is 960 newton meters and I'm asked to find the force in the winch puller AB so I can choose either point E or point C. We're going to choose point E because it has a one-dimensional position vector going from D to E. It's much simpler than choosing point C. So looking at moment force equation, we have our moment about D is equal to, if we choose point E, it would be the position vector going from D to E. We're going to cross product that with the force or the tension in cable at E to C, which has the winch pour in line with this tension force. Okay, so we have two vectors we need to find the magnitudes and components for. If we look at vector going from D to E in the diagram, it has simply this dimension, 2.8, plus going to the E dimension. So this would be the value of 2.8. It's going the negative I hat direction because it's on the negative X axis. So we have our position vector R D to E equal to negative 2.8 meters in the i-hat direction. It has zero component in the j or the k component as well. Now to find the tension in EC, we use our formula as recall. We need to find the position vector from E to C and the magnitude of that position vector or its distance. So, get this in focus. So we're going to find the position vector from E to C. So starting at point E in the diagram, we go to the right or in the positive x i hat direction, 2.8 meters plus 0.2, which would be positive 3 meters in the i hat direction. And we go up a distance of 0.875 meters in the j hat direction. So we're going to add 0.875 meters j hat. Now we need to find the magnitude of the position vector or the distance. So the distance from point E to point C would be equal to the square root of the 3 squared plus the 0 0.875 squared as well. And this value, we calculate this, go to our calculator. We know 3 squared will give us 9 plus 0.875 squared. We're going to take the square root of this number and we get 3.125 meters. That's our distance, that's our magnitude of our displacement vector. Okay. Now, we can find our tension vector from E to C. We know our tension from E to C is going in this direction over to point C, our tension value E to C, we're trying to find this magnitude here. We want to know what this vector is in order to plug into our cross product for our moment value here. So we can say our tension E to C, we know our formula is going to be, it's equal to the scalar value tension EC over the distance from E to C multiplied by the position vector r e to c. So, let me go ahead 
and substitute these values in. We don't know tension EC. We're trying to find that value. But we do know the distance. We just calculated that was 3.125 meters. We have our position vector. We just found that as 3 meters i hat plus 0 0.875 meters j hat. Now we can simply so to these values in, say 3 divided by 3.125 gives us 0.96 tension EC in the i-hat direction and then 0.875 divided by 3.125 gives us 0.28 in the j-hat direction times tension EC. So we're going to add in plus 0 0.28 tension EC in the j-head direction as well. Put this in frame. Good. Now we have what we need. We can go ahead and calculate the moment, or I should say we're going to calculate the tension by going back to our moment formula. We said the moment about point D is equal to the cross product of the position vector R D to E cross tension vector in E to C. Okay, so we know that is going to transform into our determinant of our matrix here. So we have the I hat vector. Our position vector from D to E is negative 0.28 in I hat. And then our I hat component for tension is 0 0.96 tension E to C. For our j-hat components, we have 0 for our position vector. And for our tension vector, we have positive 0 0.28 tension E to C. Finally, our k-hat components, this is a two-dimensional problem, so we have no k-hat components. Good. Now, to find the determinant of this vector, I'm going to rewrite the I hat and J hat components on the outside on the right, right side for both the position vector and the unknown tension vector. Good. Now I'm going to rewrite this one more time. The J hat 0 0.28 tension E to C. Good. Now, in order to evaluate this determinant, I'm going to draw some diagonal lines. They're going to connect and multiply along the diagonal lines. So the first diagonal line, I'm going to go down to the right. I'm going to have i hat times 0 times 0, which would be 0. So I have 0 here. It's positive 0. We're adding. These are all pluses. Then this diagonal, again, will be 0. as a 0 inside multiplied by these terms, so it would also be 0. So plus 0. This term, however, will not be a 0. This will be our first non-zero term. So we have negative 2.8 multiplied by 0.28 minus multiplied by 0.28 and we get negative 0.784 good so we have negative point so minus is plus we're adding a negative negative 0.784 Okay, so this component would be, you multiply these out, negative 0.784 times tension in cable EC multiplied by the K hat component. Now going this direction, we're going to subtract these values. So we have this diagonal will be minus 0, this diagonal will be minus 0, and this diagonal as well also be minus zero. All right. So remember, this is now equal to what we had this equal to was our moment about d. This value we we're told is 960 newton meters. So we have 960 newton meters is equal to negative point seven eight. For tension EC 
in the k-hat direction. If we now solve for tension EC, we divide both sides by negative 0.784. Okay, and so we have our moment at D equal to 960 newton meters. That's equal to negative 0.784 times tension EC. So we divide both sides by negative 0.74. So we have 960 divided by negative 0.784 and we get 1224.5 newtons for the tension in cable EC in the winch core AB. Alright guys, thanks for joining me in another Simple STEM Solution video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered, be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.